traders, this is Blake Morrow with Forex Analytics, and you're listening to the Week Ahead video for June 24th, 2018. I hope you guys and gals are having a great weekend, and I hope you're enjoying wor watching the World Cup. I know that the whole currency market is uh, and has been this last week, and guess what? We're going to be continuing to watch the World Cup uh you know for the next couple of weeks i think the i think the the final game is on the 14th of Jul 14th of august i may be mistaken but uh, the, the world cup fever has its grip on the currency market and uh as many of you know and if you've been watching this last week uh the liquidity really dries out as everybody's watching the game so um i i do expect that to continue going into this next week that's for sure but um uh, like I said, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, one qu one quick announcement before uh, I get started is that this is going to be the last week of um, our current prices, and then we will be raising prices to to bring them up to uh, the competition, if you will. But also keep in mind that we have um, we have some of the best technology out there. I mean, if you look at our you you look at, look at our platform, it is uh, it's an amazing new revamped platform that we just released uh, we have a new app um, you know whether you have the iOS or Android um, operating system make sure you download the app and make sure you just try it out it is one dollar for 10 days but our prices are going up and they are going up after this next week so uh, you're gonna want to take advantage of it all you have to do is just um, just you know, start your trial today all right now this is the overview screen or the, the what we like to call the traffic light page um, but there's you know obviously a lot more information in here too and um, and 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 I, I really what I really want to cover today not so much on the platform is I want to cover the state of the dollar because the dollar does look at like it's pulling back and and if you look at you know most of these major currencies like let's start with the euro dollar um, let's go over to the daily chart. You can see the euro dollar has had a nice little lift here, and it and it looks like we're actually going to, you know, probably rally towards you know one seventeen and a quarter, one seventeen and a half. Uh, some of this previous support that you can see here from the last couple of weeks, it looks like we're going to challenge those levels just because we hit, you know, one fifteen. Uh, what is that? One fifteen fifteen or so, and and then we bounced. So holding all this support will probably allow for a continued dollar bounce or uh, excuse me dollar pullback and and you can see it in the, like the cable um, the cables had a nice little lift you can see it right here pounds had a nice little lift from some confluence 50 percent retracement trend line support it's allowed us to to move back uh, above 132 and and actually it was a false breakdown too if, if you look at the weekly week whoops that's not the weekly here's there's the weekly you look at the weekly that that was a little false breakdown as well so um, the pound looks like it can continue to uh, to to uh, recover. Um, a lot of that had to do with the Bank of England on this last Thursday and the change in votes, um, which which gave the Bank of England a little bit more hawkish slant than the market expected. Um, you know the the Aussie dollar. Take a look at the Aussie. Uh, here is the daily. You can see the Aussie has recovered quite nicely off of support, and we we had also a false breakdown this week so that should allow maybe a move back to like 75 cents big 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 previous support level will come into play channel um channel resistance all sorts of things and and um one other currency pair i i really want to talk about because it's been my focus as of late is the u.s dollar canadian now the u.s dollar canadian we've had this really big um you know massive weekly breakout but you can see that we also hit channel resistance we we were warning you guys all week uh this week that the risk was a pullback in the canadian and even with the weak inflation data that we saw on friday we still saw a reversal and this is a you know shooting star bearish engulfing candle um and, and it happened right at channel resistance so uh the us dollar canadian does look like it's pulling back to you know possibly 131 um, quite possibly to 130 uh, to, to challenge the breakout point. Uh, that is a risk. And, and also, uh, I'm going to pull up the US dollar Mexican peso. The US dollar Mexican peso has also seen a really big reversal outside of this channel. Um, you can also view it as an ascending wedge that, that uh, came up through all these supports here. 
and it looks like we're going to you know test the support zone now in regarding mexico we do have the mexican election next sunday on the first of july so um i i actually think the u.s dollar mexican peso will be a good candidate to be playing on the long side or in other words long dollars short mexican pesos at some point this week uh you know i'm, I'm probably looking into midweek this week trying to play some sort of bounce now and that that'll probably you know very much correlate with the u.s dollar canadian as well since the dollar canadian has shown a reversal on friday i think we are going to see a pullback going into next week and you know just trying to buy it on a dip makes most sense to me uh since i've been playing it to the long side i'm not playing it to the short side i don't want to play against this weekly breakout because this is this is very massive guys this this weekly breakout here in the dollar canadian i don't want to play counter trend in this so what i'm doing personally is i'm actually going to be looking to buy some sort of dip this week uh if if you want if you want to be you want me to be more specific i would tune into our free daily face webinars the forex analytics community experience web webinars that we host every single day i'd listen to those because i'll give you an intraday perspective on how i feel about the dollar canadian and remember we uh we broadcast those every morning at 7 a.m eastern um there a couple things that are happening this week uh is going to be uh, we have the the rbnz which um will have their rate decision which they're expected to keep rates unchanged and if you look at the kiwi dollar Here's the Kiwi. That's the weekly chart. Let's go over the daily. We also, you know, had this little false breakdown. It, it may, it may last and we may get a little bit of a bounce back to 69.50, but I think the upside is fairly limited. So, you know, with all the charts that I'm showing you here regarding the dollar, the dollar downside may be prevalent going into early next week, but I don't expect it to last long. Now, I guess there's a couple other charts that I actually wanted to show you just kind of a live uh, chart regarding take a look at the US dollar Japanese yen the US dollar Japanese yen it, it, it is at risk of a little bit of a pullback here we close below the 200 day moving average we have a, a slight up channel here and and frankly if um, let's see here let's draw this out we break this 24% retracement or the uptrend line, which comes in around, uh, let me unmagnetize this cursor here, at 109.50 roughly, then we might see a little bit of a pullback in the dollar yen. Remember, I like to see the, the dollar yen is 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 more of a, um, it, 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 it operates on its own schedule. It's not really, I, I don't look at it with the rest of the dollar pairs. So if the if the dollar is moving against the euro or the pound or the Aussie and the Kiwi, I kind of, the, the US dollar, Japanese yen and other yen pairs, they tend to move with risk. And, and if you look at the S&P 500, I mean, we, we actually held a pretty key support this week. Um, you know, we held above this 2745 level in the S&P. But, uh, you know, if, if, if we start to break through that, um, that support, that may actually turn the US dollar, Japanese yen lower towards that um you know 108 108 50 level i don't think the pullback's gonna be too severe but i do think that we 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 are at risk of a pullback here in the dollar yen and also take a look at the dollar index the dollar index um we had a really key reversal on thursday it was a shooting star on thursday that was a uh, you know we talked a lot about that uh, if you use forex analytics you got alerted of the big reversal on Thursday. We actually sent out an individual alert and attached a bunch of different charts of a bunch of different major currency pairs um, that reversed. And if you had Forex analytics, uh, you had your mobile apps, uh, you know, with your notifications enabled, you would have been notified no matter where you were at. So that happened on Thursday. So Friday was not a surprise to any one of us on the Forex analytics team uh, as we were divergent in relative strength, shooting star, reversal at uh this this horizontal resistance and frankly you look at the dollar index and, and the dollar like i said i think the the the, uh, the dollar might be a little weak going into next week early but i also think that we'll be able to play both sides of the dollar this week you know dollar weakness initially and maybe some dollar strength 
um, towards the end of this next week. Also, I, I guess I should mention, since I was talking about the Canadian, I was talking about uh, other events that were happening um, this week. We, ha we do have final GDP in the U.S. on Thursday, okay? And then on Friday, we have Canadian GDP. So, um, you know, going back to like that Canadian dollar, yeah, you know, the Canadian dollar looks like it's gonna it's gonna show some some signs of weakness here. But you know, again, I'm 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 looking to you know be a buyer like you know somewhere down here, you know, down 130, 131, something like that. That's that's what I'm really looking for. So if you're long the dollar Canadian, just you know, you might you might feel some some near term. Um, U.S. dollar Canadian weakness or some Canadian strength near term, but I think that's that's going to be you know fairly limited going into next week. All right, guys and gals. Hey, listen, if you think this this video is going to be is is beneficial to you and you liked it, make sure you click the like button. You know, just just gives us the big thumbs up, and then also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss those face webinars that we do every single day because we post them to YouTube about an hour or two after we we film those. So if you were out and about and you missed it live, you can you can always um, go back and listen to what we had said that day. Um, that might give you a clue into what's happening later on in the week or la later on in the session. And um, and once again, our prices for Forex Analytics, um, we've held them really low for for a very long period of time. We almost ha we're almost up to our two year anniversary with Forex Analytics, and we've all we do is we pour our money into development of our program and we've made it that much better for you we've really redesigned the site we put it all on the page for you on one page uh, so you have all this information available to you and um, and with doing that we uh, we have to raise our prices a little bit uh, to compensate so get involved with Forex analytics today because in the next week week and a half prices will be going up thanks again for listening my name is Blake Morrow with Forex analytics have a great week this week.